wrestling hero figs. We're going to be looking at today at the championship belt figure collection title so many different names for this man i mean when you look at wwe's history there's been so many cool belts throughout the years and there's also some in here that have been made custom by wwe figure artists one of the coolest guys man he's helped out for the 24 7 champion for the smackdown or the actually the women's tag team titles as well as mattel jacks there's some that i couldn't even tell you where they originally originated from because there's times where like if i do like an order on ebay there's a lot of times where the seller just throws in an extra and i have no idea where it had derived from i'll give you like to the best of my knowledge you guys i think a good 90 percent 95 percent of these i am pretty well aware as to how to get them so if you are curious like hero figs where do i get this spell right here well there's two methods you can either get it with, I think, Brock Lesnar. I know Brock Lesnar had come with the World Wrestling Entertainment Championship. This is kind of when the Undisputed Belt had come together. Like, they had the WCW World Heavyweight. It wasn't WCW, but it was the World Heavyweight and the WWE title. And then they unified them, and then this is what came to, to be. So, I know Brock Lesnar was one of them. And I think there might... Yes, the Eddie Guerrero. I think the Legends figure had also come with this. Uh, the 24-7 Championship Belt right here. This one was done by uh like i said wwe figure artists like most of the custom belts that you'll see here those were all done by him and he doesn't just do like valcro he doesn't just put something on there like plastic no he actually does plates and he is gonna he did mention that he is working on a revamped version so this will actually have like a genuine legit leather strap so i cannot wait for this the nwo belt this one came in a pack the ringside exclusive pack before that though I know you could have gotten it with Kevin Nash. I think one of the earlier Kevin Nash figures did have this belt. I think this one right here, though, this one was a custom version that actually we just unboxed uh, this past weekend. I know uh, the w or WWE was a figure, uh, WWE Collector GA, he had thrown in there as an extra, so I do appreciate that. It's almost identical to what you saw, like from the actual Mattel version. The one that's not, the one that does not have the NWO or any writing for that matter. This one, so many different figures. Uh, Chris Jericho, I know the. At Defining Moments Jericho, he included this one as well as the the old school, like the Attitude Era. He had include he had come with both of these. So, I mean, it makes sense. He was the undis first Undisputed Champion. So, having this one. And this is still one of my favorites, dude. Like, uh, out of, like, all the belt looks that they've, like, produced throughout the years, I have to say, like, the winged belt right here from Attitude Era Day still. Maybe because it holds a special place in my heart. Like, when I started uh, watching wrestling, this was the time and era. We have the 205 Live belt. This has been released on just about every cruiserweight that we've gotten like from Mattel. I know the very first release of this was that Toys R Us exclusive TJ Perkins. Well, TJP now, but that's one way you can get it. Um, we have a classic Intercontinental Championship right here. I do like the black strap better than the white one. I mean, the, that's kind of really, like, if you look at the difference between what we're seeing right now on TV as to what we saw back in the day, it's mainly the strap. Like, the style of the plate it has always carried through and that's good because this belt it does hold a lot of history so i'm glad they've never really gotten away from changing the overall look one that they have done like a dramatic change well actually i wouldn't call it a change because this was an introduction of a brand new belt was the universal title i think this one it, it had got out of all the belt like apart from the 24 7 champ this has got to be the next runner up to get the most hate when they unveiled it like in wwe they called it the skittles belt they called it just a repaint of the actual wwe title which i'm sure it's in here somewhere we'll find it once we go through the pile we do have an exclusive one it's not an exclusive actually it is the only way you could have gotten the internet championship was with the elite zach Ryder. so this one Look, I think if you're like a hardcore figgy fan, this is like an absolute must. Like, the only time that this was actually ever shown was on his YouTube channel, his old YouTube channel, like before the revamp of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. This one right here, he used to carry it around. He's always had like his own unique touch to his own style of belts. And this one, this kind of has like the old woo 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 factor with the hair coming up right there. We have the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I do have like a super old version of. Of them, like I had grabbed the what would they call it, like the penny belt. I I made my own, like before Mattel released it, and this is kind of what I had used to begin with. So it was just the old penny style. 
And the reason why they called it pennies, just because of like the look, the overall look of it. Like if you saw this belt from a distance, you couldn't tell whether it was a penny or an actual title. And, and it's also like the same color too of a penny. So there's like the actual Mattel version, the custom version, and the one that was made, or the one that was made by Mattel prior to me dabbing into it. Here's an old classic tag team title. Uh, Road Warriors, I believe they had come with it. Uh, LOD, was it LOD? I think it was, there was like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I know... Uh, this belt you could have gotten with so many different characters. Like this one, this, like when they had re-released -re it again back into the wave, it was getting put out quite a bit. And as a matter of fact, I think this one. No, I'm I'm thinking of the other one. I'm thinking of the belt pack one. And I think this is kind of a custom version of it. It is. This is like a one that I've gotten. I think often Jack's figure. Like this was an eBay haul. So. It is based off like classic WWF, like, and the cool thing, the the reason why I still have kept this throughout the years, it's because this one actually does have the genuine WWF logo. Mattel could never release it. It always, it, it was always a like a revamp style of the logo because of the whole copyright. They could never produce, even though it was not WWE, they couldn't put the F in there because of the World Animal Federation, yada yada. There's a whole story behind it. Just know that Mattel, they yeah they. <laughs> they had to stay strict to the lines and the uh, women's title right here here's the tag team titles um wwe figure artists as well had come through with these and these ones i i do like i i like the overall build quality on this it's always been there like 100 percent with him um but the thing that i really like these as opposed to that 24 7 champ is because these ones actually do have the leather straps so a nice little piece right there we have the raw women's title um walgreens exclusive i know there's been several figures that we've gotten because i mean just about every walgreens exclusive figure had this belt uh i think sasha banks had it i think uh the was it uh sasha no not sasha banks i think also alexa bliss had it so there's several different women's figures where you could have picked this belt up from the raw we have several raw and several smackdown so if you guys do see me pick these up just know that the overabundance of some of these belts like most of these Okay, obviously in the display area, like if you guys ever seen the collection video, you guys know that I do like to display some of my figures. Like ones that have held the, or carried the, the belts in the right manner, I like to display them on the shelf. But then like the, the extras, I either have in the bins for like the current rosters to put on like the figure matches for you. Or I just have it like laying around in a bag just to make sure like if I ever need to make a custom and they had held the belt during that time that's the reason for that and here it is I knew I had start I think I have at least six or seven I don't know exactly the number right here on the tag team titles on the classic look but I'm, I'm serious when I said that they just kept releasing that exact same belt here's another uh attitude era here it is here's the WWE title which grabbing the universal title you can see what I was talking about earlier how they're just literally identical there's there's no difference as a Apart from, you know, apart from the strap and the actual like line that goes under the WWE, we have another U.S. title. I don't believe I've shown that. Let's put these to the side, man, because I feel like that I'm getting bombarded with the same title. Here's the United States Championship. The U.S. title actually originated, I think, in WCW, and then it got carried over to uh, once once they had taken over uh, ECW and they had brought all three companies right there in early 2000. Here's a classic women's championship. Trish Stratus was the one, I do believe that she was one of the figures that you could have gotten this, and I think it was also a Target exclusive. The NXT belt, um, two different versions. They, they got this one, which is like the very first one, which uh, was it? Uh, think, think, think. Bobby Roode. I know Bobby Roode was the one that had like the circle style, but the classic look, another one. Uh, Sami Zayn. I think Sami Zayn was one of those figures that you could have gotten. Now, these two right here, I don't know if it's in this pile. It might be on the shelf because there is still a good handful of belts that you won't see in this pile that are still on the display just because they're like, they're buried, man. They're like buried deep. There's no turning back, but I do, I am pretty sure that we might still have the SmackDown version of this one. This one was raw. Like when Brand Split was like official, when it was a real thing, when it was actually like in order to watch only certain superstars on one show, this was like around late Attitude Era, uh, tapping into like ruthless aggression. But these belts right here, two different. Uh, there was the red, which obviously reflected raw. And then there was the blue, which almost identical to what you're seeing right here. And that one uh, had reflected SmackDown. Here's another uh, tag team, classic t tag team title. We got a Wing tip title ultimate warrior did have different color variations of this so same belt except the strap 
it changed with the Ultimate Warrior. There was a blue one. There was an orange one. Like the man, he, he dabbed into the rainbow and he says, I want every day. Like if I'm going to hold the belt more than once, I want different colors and different variations of it. But we did see different styles right here of the same belt, just in different straps. Um, classic right here. Is this a classic? No, actually, um, act, you guys have to fill me in because I know for a fact, I'm almost positive. I couldn't find it in the display or any of the bins. But I do think there was an actual spinner belt that you could spin. This one doesn't, but I'm almost like 110% positive that Mattel did make a uh, different variation of the exact same belt that you see right here, but it actually, you could spin it. I know the Rated R belt had that ability, not this one though. So there's two different versions of these, and one of them did come with John Cena. This old TNA I think this came off an old Toy Biz figure. Toy Biz did produce several different belts, um, this being one of them. They also made, I believe, there was like a tag team belt. I could be wrong. I never got a chance to really collect all of the TNA. Like any TNA belt or figure that you saw in my collection was a conversion made from either Toy Biz or Jack. So I'm not 100% positive on that. Here's a, one, one that came with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin did make his own version, like when he was champion, he made his own version, and then there was like, also, I know the World Heavyweight, is it this one? Yes. So this one was still like, both of these belts were kind of a thing. You'd have to go back and check out some of those matches, man. I know there's like a lot of history behind this one, where Austin still carried this, regardless of this one still being very much like, and I think there was almost like, there was like a clash, I feel like he lost the belt, but in his eyes, he felt like he didn't, I, yeah, I'm gonna, have to, it's been a while, man, it's like, I gotta go back and revisit some of these, because they do hold a lot of history, so I'm just gonna slide these over, just for a quick sec, because they are invading the area of the ones that I think I've covered, but I haven't, so just check this out, you guys, I just want you to know that the confusion, it's an easy slip up, because these, these are the ones that we haven't gone through yet, and this is the pile that we just covered the ones i do want to get into some more customs because uh over there in nxt there's still ones actually you know what i know elite series 71 is it 71 or 72 i think it's adam cole and the upcoming wave he we will finally see the north american title right here here's the custom version of it um we have the the actual one that's on like tv right now the main title in nxt so this is kind of where it had evolved to it kind of went into the old traditional look i do still prefer this one as opposed to the older one we have an old ecw um cm punk ringside exclusive pretty sure that was a debut of this belt and then they, they reintroduced it when they had released Terry Funk into the line. Now this, uh, here it is. Here's the UK Championship. Still to this date, we've only seen the release of this belt once. Yeah, uh, uh, Bate. Tyler Bate was the figure. Um, I don't know if you consider that one as an exclusive. I know they when they first talked about Tyler Bate, they said that it was going to be exclusive. And then Ringside had gotten their hands on it. I never saw it in the wild, so I am going to consider that as an exclusive. We got the NXT tag team titles which is kind of almost the same thing as the actual main belt right here there is i mean a slight change up on the top but the style and the look of the actual plates they do hold a lot of similarities wcw ron simmons target exclusive hall of champions not hall of fame I think this is when they had switched over. I, it was Ron Simmons, Kane, and I think DIY was also part of it. So here's the old classic WCW. Here's uh, another current um, IC title, SmackDown. Yeah, <laughs> one thing I want to do at the end of this video, I kind of want to find out. I'm really genuinely curious as to how many of those SmackDown tag team titles I had. Here's the Edge. Here's the Rated R and the one that I knew that actually did have the spinning effect to it. So you actually can spin that. And then right there in the middle, it says Rated R Superstar. So I see I knew it, man. And then here is uh, before they had updated the belts. I think uh, American Alpha. Yes, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, the Walmart exclusives. That was one way of getting those. We have the ECW, but it was ECW when uh, WWE had put their own touch to it. Like before WWE came into the picture. It was, it was, I think it was a lot cooler. Like, I kind of want to hear your thoughts on it as to which one you preferred. I feel like this one, it's got more like detailed going on. It's got more colors, more paint apps. This is just solid, like two, two colors. You're getting like a black and like a shiny silver. So I don't know, man. Maybe I'm an oldies when it comes to like belts and music, but I just prefer that old ECW. Here's the 
NWO or the World Heavyweight, but instead of the black, we're getting the red spray paint right there. Some more Raw Tag Team titles. I'm telling you, so many Raw, SmackDown, WWE. Let's get. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna dig through this, you guys, because I feel like there is at least six or seven of these. Hey, I'm all about it, man. If Mattel wants to keep adding these belts right here, see, I'm telling you, U.S. titles for days. Here's the classic one. Here's a classic IC title. I know we covered that one that we haven't covered. Let's put all these aside. Not for a fact that I know that we covered those. I'm just gonna dig. Here's another one. <laughs> it doesn't stop. So there's the wing tape eagle again. Uh, Mattel's Jack's version. Of I can't even tell. I honestly I don't think that's I don't think that's WWE or WCW. I think this is just like a belt from one of those fake wrestlers that you can get at Walmart for like two, three bucks. Like you get bootleg belts, you get bootleg, even a plate is missing. I I couldn't tell you where that belt had come from. Ooh, this one would be great for customs. This one had come with a basic. I'm pretty sure it was like either a Ric Flair, but the finish on this, you can't you can't even tell. I <laughs> honest like if you look at it. You could barely tell there's like an actual planet on there or the writing. So these are always great for customs. Like if you want to make your own version, which I do have plans in doing that. Here is the custom one that I made of the SmackDown Women's title before Mattel released their version. It's just a WWE title. It works. It scales the exact same size, which I still I disagree with that. I still feel like the women's belts should be slightly smaller because of their torsos, like their figures. They're just uh, scaled down quite a bit as opposed to the actual male uh, action figures. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going too far in depth, but regardless, this is my own version of the SmackDown women's title before Mattel had released it. Here's another NWO, uh, another winged one. Here's another. These rated R belts, I, I think when Ringside Collectibles had put out that belt pack, I had to order at least four or five of them. It might sound crazy, but like if you want it, here it is. I knew I had it. Yes, here it is. This is the reason why so many people, not just Hero Fix, by the way, so many people had ordered multiple sets of this belt pack so they could have two of the SmackDown so you can complete your tag team titles and two of the Raw. So that's actually the reason why you might see several versions of these. This is a cruiserweight. This is like the, yes, um, back in Ruth, I'm going to say Ruthless Aggression. This is the belt right here for the cruiserweight. So it did change dramatically. I mean, it's a lot smaller back then, and it should be cruiserweights are what, usually under 200 pounds or slightly above that. 225, I think it's a max, or is it 205? No, 205 Hero Fakes, 205 Live. So 205 Live, yeah, that makes perfect sense. But here's a classic version of the cruiserweight. Here is current. Uh, well, uh, here's one. Uh, obviously, so I do have two different versions of this. There's this one, which is kind of like almost like a flat finish. And then I have this one, which is the Intercontinental title. This is when it changed, like, the overall, like, look of the actual plate. Um, this one has more of a shiny finish. This is more accurate, obviously, to what we saw with, I think, the Rock. I think the Ringside Exclusive Rock did come with it, was it? Uh, no, actually, that one had a different colored strap. I know Stone Cold and the Rock, like, they've changed the strap when they held the belt, but... This is kind of like the alternate version of the actual one that they should have released. So I think this might have been released first. And then I think there was a lot of people just arguing and disputing about how it should have been brighter. Here's the NXT title. I do have some AEWs. I actually have the one that Chris Jericho, our very first AE. Congratulations, Jericho. I just want to say congratulations. This is suiting. It. Who else was it going to be? I mean, come on. If Jericho was going to carry that, like, he bragged about it quite a bit. It, it only makes sense. But if you guys didn't miss the review on that, go on the channel, man. A lot of these, like, full length depth review on the IWGP Intercontinental. And I also have the main one. They're all on the channel. So if you want to check it out or if you want to pick these up yourself, man, again, WWE figure artist. I'll put the link uh, right there in the description. So it'll just be a quick click and it'll take you right there, man. He's always on top of stuff. I can't, <laughs> if there's anybody that I can say good stuff actually there's a good handful of people that I have nothing but good things to say but what I'm saying is that he has always been reliable when it comes to making like accurate like good quality belts so I appreciate that hardcore belt check this out man when mankind got his hands on it well actually Vince McMahon had given this to him as a gift when he got his hands on it it was all destroyed it was like the reintroduction 
of the wingtip, except it was battered and bruised, and they just put hardcore on it. And this is what a hardcore belt should look like. There are several things that it is missing, but still, man, it was nice when we got this, dude. I thank you again. <laughs> like, had it not been for Ringside Collectibles for them to put out the belt pack, because I'm pretty sure this was one of them. The the market on these, you guys, it was insane, man. They wanted like forty dollars for a freaking figure belt. Here's another World Heavyweight, uh, hardcore, hardcore, and also the. Uh, edge multiple man it's it's that raw and smack i blame it on the raw and the smackdown belt here's the jacks version of the world heavyweight title yeah so jacks he did they did it different man i i'm not a fan of how they used to do it i mean like from the front they look beautiful that looked like a genuine straight up world heavyweight wrestling championship belt but when you turned your figure out your figure around it had this huge loop that it had to go through and it just it looked weird man raw classic before uh Mattel released it. Here's mine. Mine are bad. I, I can't. I, I'm not the when it, like when it comes to belts, you guys. Ah oh, man, I got I got to step my game up, dude. Figures are one thing, but belts. There's something else. This one is another. I think this is Jax as well, but this one actually has a different strap. Check it out. This actually has like how it should be, like how uh, how Mattel did it. So I'm curious, like that these ones come first. Or did they come after? I I have no idea, you guys. <laughs> if you guys do know, let me know because if these ones did come before, and then eventually they decided to change the style on how they should come together. Well, uh, Jax, botch. <laughs> and that's probably one of the reasons for your failures. The last belt that I do... No, actually, I still have a good handful. So we already covered the U.S. We already have that. The WWE, uh, another same U.S. title. Another Intercontinental in U.S. title. Jack Custom, another custom. Here's the raw one that I made. Um, but the last one that I have right here is the Divas belt. Um, I think it was also Paige. Paige, she came with two belts. She came with the NXT uh, and also the Divas. I could be wrong, you guys. Fill me in, but this one you could have gotten in some basics. I know some basics also carried this belt, but that's I think that's pretty, that wraps it all up. I mean, apart from these briefcases, I have the blue one. I think I have the red one. I don't know where it is. I'll have to check my fodder bin. I think that's where it might be, because I think that one had the uh, one with, there was one that had like dents, like indentations so I'm not sure. Uh, Money in the bank right here. This one came with the bronze Strowman. But let's let's bring these all up, man. Let's, I want to show you guys this pile, dude. I'm telling you. So, so many figure belts. Maybe that's one of the reasons why it took so damn long to put one of these videos together. Here's the video, though, man. There is the money shot that you guys all came here for. A lot of cool customs. A lot of NXT, classic, uh, AEW, name it. E -E, or not AEW. <laughs> But all kinds, man. Uh, you have to do. These are like important. This is this is kind of what signifies the reason of why you're a wrestler. Like when you sign up, when you start your training, whether it's schooling to become a wrestler, this is the reason behind it, dude. To become champion, even if it is a 24/7 champ, it don't matter, dude. Champion is a champion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.